What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Into the Light update, which we have now, of course, received a lot more information about. We do know it's going to release on April the 9th, and this is going to be something that a lot of people are still kind of curious about because Bungie has not given us a ton of information just yet, but they did give us this image, and this is something that a lot of people have kind of been speculating about what could be coming to the game. They did say it's going to be pretty much just updates throughout the month of April and May to give veteran players and new players something to do in-game and kind of lead us into that Final Shape DLC in June. Now, of course, the thing that a lot of people are interested about when it comes to this image is it seems that the tower from Destiny 1 has now been completely rebuilt. So that old tower is kind of rebuilt in the image. Now, of course, I'm wondering if we're going to get to, you know, use the original tower again in the game how that's going to kind of work personally for me i kind of like the layout of the first uh, destiny one tower a lot better and i think a lot of people that have played destiny one probably kind of agree with that but i'm going to be interested to see how they do this exactly and you kind of see also in the image there is kind of a, a you know just a town there so you know it's kind of what you see below the tower when you're kind of looking out over the edge and it's led a lot of people to think that this could be some type of tower defense mode being added into the game or if some style of maybe horde mode or something like that where you're just guarding the town against or guarding the rebuilt tower against enemies that are attacking and that is something that has a lot of fans really excited now if this is going to be the case or not who knows it's like i said just kind of a uh, a lot of people's theory right now considering what the image we received from Bungie was. But beating back waves of enemies, uh, you know, to kind of protect the tower and the town would be a really unique idea and something that we don't really sell. we don't really have in Destiny. We don't really have one of those kind of tower defense horde modes in the game. But at the same time, you know, this could just be the art from, you know, kind of what they're expecting in Into the Light. So this could just be, you know, just the, the art that the team came up with to use and we may or may not see a tower defense mode, but it does look like that could be the case in my opinion. I think this is something that is definitely, that could be happening in the game. So now that the tower is fixed and we're going to have this new, uh, you know, kind of mode into the game, people are kind of wondering what exactly those rewards would be. And of course, if you look and, you know, kind of into the image even more, there's some, you know, turrets and things like that. Uh, a lot of people are wondering, you know, those turrets have the Vanguard logos on them. So if it would be something kind of like I said, like a, a protection zone kind of thing or a tower defense, uh, you know, just a mode where there's tons and tons of, uh, you know, enemies coming towards you and you're fighting them off. But that kind of leaves the option open to me is this where they're going to bring in these old weapons, these su sunset weapons. Is this going to be where they come back into the game? We've already talked about the recluse coming back. There's been leaks of, you know, maybe some other older weapons coming back from early seasons. And in my opinion, this would be a great time to bring back all of those old weapons so veteran players can, you know, get these weapons again and new players will get to experience them for the first time. And this would be a great time to do that. Have those weapons as the drops for this new, uh, you know, mode that could be coming to the game. And I think that would be a great time to do that. I really wish they would put every gun that they've sunset, whether it be exotic, legendary, back into the game in this mode. That would be something that I think a lot of people... It would give them something to do for the next couple of months till the final shape is released. And I think many players would enjoy that. Now, this still kind of leaves open that question of what, uh, you know, the leaky is talking about the planets, uh, you know, having different quests and things on some of the older planets that I made a video uh, a few days ago about. That's still, I think, something that could happen as well. But with this image, this has really made a lot of the Destiny community really excited to kind of see maybe something new coming to the game. I'm going to be kind of curious to see if this is going to be a small mode where it's just a fire team thing where it's only three players. I would really like to see something large here. A really difficult, hard kind of a bit of content. Uh, uh, some really hard content for a large group of players. You know, we have six man activities in the game uh, that are not, you know, raids. You have things like, uh, you know, some of the seasonal activities you have. Uh, some other things that have been added to the game over the years, you know, they require more than three players. But at the same time, we don't really have something that's extremely difficult unless you play some of those activities on maybe a legendary difficulty. I would like to see something just on a base difficulty that would be hard, but maybe a massive, um, 
you know, kind of horde mode that was maybe eight to 12 players. I think that would be something that we have not seen in the game. Now, will that happen? I'm not sure. I don't really think it would, but I would really like to see that being brought to Destiny. I think eight to 12 players in an event on a mass scale of just tons and tons of enemies, tons of difficult enemies would be very enjoyable. But at the least, I'm hoping this event, if this is a thing, is going to uh, require, hopefully, six players and not less. I'm hoping it's not going to be just a three-player kind of thing if it is in the game. I would like to see at least six, but more than six if that would be possible. I think a lot of people would really enjoy that. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.